we'll do roll call. Abe Gassenport? Here. Shelby Verland? Here. Freeland? <laughs> Aaron Rooney? Here. And Brent Linford? Yep. We're all here. Now I'll kind of go, oh yeah, because we have public comments, there's obviously no public here. But since we have a, uh, our chair and our vice chair have termed out, I put it on our agenda to nominate and elect a chair as well as nominate and elect a vice chair. So any of you can nominate whoever you would like to as your chairperson. I nominate Abe. You're the senior man here. You've been on board. <laughs> I second it. <laughs> I, I can. It, he should have not shown up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. We just right. surprised you. Why did you put in the big show? Yes, that's fine. <laughs> All right, so I got a motion in the second to nominate Abe. All right. Shelby Berlin. Really? What? Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, we're voting. Yeah, we're voting. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, if you yeah. don't like it, then <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I think she got scared that I that we're trying to get her to be chair. Yeah. <laughs> Brent Linford. Yep. Aaron Rooney. Yep. And Abe Gassenport. And I abstain. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can, even if you said no, it's three to one. So. Yes. So now I have the nomination elected a vice chair. I'll make the nomination for Aiden. Okay. I'll second that. Okay. A motion to nominate or in elect Aaron Rooney as vice chair and a second with Linford. Okay, so Abe Gassenpour? Yes. Shelby Reeland? Yes. Aaron Rooney? Yes. And Brent Linford? Yes. All right. Now we're back on track. You got a chair and a uh, vice chair. So now Abe can take the reins. Oh, I do. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, now we're to number five. That's it. You're to number five. Yep. The approval of the previous minutes on March 9th of 23 and April 13. A regular meetings. I wasn't here. No, yeah, because the March 9th, it'll be uh, Abe and Brent. And then the April meeting will be Aaron, Brent, and Shelby. But we'll start with the March 9th. If you guys don't have any problems with the minutes, then you can. I can make a motion to approve. You were here. For the, for the March one. Yeah. Well, the other one. Well, we'll do them separately. I thought I was here for that one. No. Yeah, we're in spirit. It's for yeah. March. Yeah. Yeah, for March. Did Abe or Brian want to make a motion? Oh, we'll say that. Okay. Correct. You want to second that, Abe? Abe? Did you want to second that? Yes. Oh, okay, sorry. All right, and I'm assuming you guys vote the yes on that one. And so now the April 13th. Uh, Planning Commission, and again, everybody but Abe. Make a motion. Now you can make a motion. Thank you, sir. Right. One second. Okay. All in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. aye. No opinion names. All right. Here we go. Perfect. We got those taken care of. Thank you. Going to item number six. Yep. The PC application. Uh, number 2305, discussion and possible action on request to rezone 8,750 square foot of property located at 1102 West Mansell Avenue, West Guthrie, Block 18, East Half of Block 22, 23, and 24 from R1 single family dwellings to R2 general residential district. So we'd like to have a report. Thank you, Mr. Chair. 
Uh, as indicated, this is a rezone from R1 to R2. Uh, the property is located just north of Banner Park on the west side. It's a corner lot. Uh, it's currently, as indicated, R1. Uh, the um, applicant is looking to build uh, two homes on the property, two smaller homes on the property. And obviously being zoned R1, it only allows one at this time. Our code uh, requires at least 8,000 square feet for uh, the, the second unit, it being 8,700 square feet in size, it obviously is large enough to accommodate two, uh, but that would be the extent they could uh, do on the property at this time. So uh, even going to R2, the maximum number of units it would be allowed to have is two. Uh, the comprehensive plan does uh, designate the property single family, uh, but as we've talked before with uh, a lot of the properties, uh, especially on that side, if we were to redo the comprehensive plan, we likely would have it as a medium or limited density zone or uh, designation, much like everything that's on the eastern side of, of the community. Because uh, in that area, just like the other area, looking to have you know two to four unit development, keeping in character with uh, even the single family would be uh, desired. So with all that, uh, staff would recommend that the Planning Commission approve the rezone request from R1 to R2. Uh, the applicant obviously isn't here, but if you have any questions of me, I'd be happy to answer any. Cool. Personally, I'm a fan of this. Um, you know, it says right in Dan's staff you notes know, it that it's better for the city. Uh, less investment for, you know, the water and the sewer is already there. Um, also, I think it's a needed housing option for people in the area, so I'm, I'm really a fan of this. Is the applicant here? Right no, he didn't, he didn't show up on it. Does the applicant own uh, all, all of the uh, lot 22 to 24, or just that's all he owns is the east half? No, he owns that full 8,750 8, square foot. half of the lot. Yeah, because it's like you said, the legal description's a little goofy because it's, uh, I think, a portion. But it's going to be like, a, it's the, the way I look at it, the east half on that, I mean, it's a three lots. It's 75 foot all three lots. Yeah. So maybe half of it would be 3,750 by 140. You can't build, I mean, it'd be 37. No, because the, the, uh, the standard lot, if you want to say, is a 50 by 140, which is a 7,000 oh, square foot lot. Is a 50 by yeah, eight. and so like you said, this is, I think, like a 62 by 140 would be the 8750, because like you said, it has a portion, the basically 12 and a half feet of one of the original lots. So it's a 62 and a half by 140 lot. So the lots are 50 foot lot rather than 25 foot. Yeah, the original are 25. This is two and a half of the original. So yeah, it'll have a frontage of 62 and a half feet. 62 and a half. Yeah, 62 and a half, yeah. So it'll be slightly bigger than the typical lot we you know have in the uh, original plan area. So and this homes are not gonna be attached? No, no, they're gonna be two smaller homes. So it'll be essentially like an unattached duplex. Uh, but because there's two on one lot, they're obviously looking to have them as rentals. Is there going to be any carports? Or? They're going to have a garage because the uh, code currently requires a garage for each single family. So they're going to have a garage for each of them. And it is within the uh, Guthrie proper overlay district, so it, it has to have the architectural requirements of that district. I'll make a motion with the group. I'll second. Abe Gassenpour? Yes. Shelby Vreeland? Yes. Aaron Rooney? Yes. Brent Linford? Yep. All right, 4 0. Yeah, I have no pleasure meeting you.